Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Breath of Fire 4 bonus episodes. In the last episode, we showed off Tipo and Ray. We showed off uh, some master stuff, and now we're going to try to do a 70 hit combo. How cool is that? So, what you need to do a 70 hit combo from what I was looking at is you need Nina and Sias to both have the Vitalize spell which heals your party uh, lightly, and you need the clarity spell as well. And I have that with Ursula. So let's go over here and uh, give, me, give me a second. All right, I just want to make it <clears throat> quick save state, just in case this doesn't work on the first try. We're gonna try to get a 70 hit combo right here, right now with these fellows. So first thing you want to do is put where has clarity in this? Now you want to make sure to do this good, or if this doesn't work, you're going to have to wait for three turns, I mean three hours, before you can actually do it again. And that is in-game hours. So what you want to do is actually, let's, let's do Sias first, because he's got lower speed. <clears throat> Anyways, you want them to both use Vitalize, and this should hopefully do a 70 hit combo. Huh. Oh, wow, we. Oh, only 40? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a 70 hit combo right there. Very cool. Now let's, uh, let's run away. Oh. But yeah, now we've done a 70 hit combo and we should be able to talk to, uh... We should get, get, let, yes, let's go. We should be able to talk to, uh both masters and get what we want. First person I want to talk to is Marlock. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed the LP. I enjoyed playing it. I'm, uh, I'm looking... I am a little scared and anticipating in uh, doing the next one because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to uh, to do it. This is a treasure among treasures. He's going to teach us roulette, which is an ability that will randomly uh, yeah, I'll just give it to you. Which will randomly <coughs> chill off an enemy. Or anyone, actually. Randomly kill off anyone. It's, uh, it's not a very good ability. Awesome! He's gonna make us his partner. How about that? So look at that. So we got... We did it. We, uh... We are now Marlock. We're gonna be Marlock's business partner after the game's over. Pretty cool, huh? So, um, what else? Now I gotta go up here, learn all that stuff from this fella here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of fishing, and then I'm gonna see if I can find a- Oh, we gotta do armor forging too, yes. Forgot all about that. And we got fairy village stuff. This, this bonus stuff might be about five, six episodes. That's the spirit. Looks like you've been working real hard. He's gonna teach us Spirit Blast, which I'm gonna give to uh, uh, you. Spirit Blast. With 50 or more hits, I've done it. <clears throat> Looks like you've been working. He's gonna give us the ability cleave, which we could learn from a <clears throat> from a, let's give it the size. 
This cleave is pretty good. It hits all enemies regardless of uh, defense. It ignores defense, basically. And he wants to do a combo of 70. He's gonna teach us disembowel, which basically we could learn from uh, we could learn from those uh, shadow guys. And I'll just give disembowel to you. Basically, what that does is it'll take it it, it takes away some of your HP, but it it drops an uh, an enemy's HP to one. Yep, and now we have learned everything we can learn from this fellow. And now if we really wanted to, I'll probably show it. Just to show it, but I'm not I'm not uh, mastering any of Bunyan's abilities. But maybe I'll show you Bunyan's things. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is go down to here, Mount Mount Gullig. Or Gloam or whatever Mount Gullig's from uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, we still need to learn from Momo. And then we can actually uh, we can actually do whatever. Come on, go up the ladder. And then we can go talk with Bunyan. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off the work we go. So let me explain how this thing works, okay? Basically, each, each, uh, piece of stuff here, um, has... Uh, some, well, some of them, like these, I think these first four or something, they ha they, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, they, they don't have any kind of elemental thing and you can put them together or whatnot, but then some of these do have en elemental, uh, properties like fire and ice and water and earth. Anyways, uh, um, what is it? You can put these together in various combinations to make different types of armor for Urshan. Nothing that is going to be like the best armor, but you've got a couple of cool things. I might, I might put a, uh, put like a, like a list in the video description of what you can, you can actually make in case you were interested in doing this with Urshan. And I'm just going to put together iron scraps and a dirty filter. But yeah, uh, this is pretty, this is a pretty cool, I don't know, it's a pretty cool, uh, thing you could do if you wanted to. And we got heavy armor, which is probably like our third or fourth best armor. It's heavy, so it'll bring down her ability, but it is a little stronger than it in most things. But well, I'm just gonna hold on to the defender because that's pretty good. But yeah, you could you could uh, make various armors for Urshan stuff that will cast spells in the beginning of when in, if they're, of her turn. Stuff like when she gets hit, it'll counterattack with a spell. This, that, and the other. There's all kinds of fun, different things you can do with that. I I, I think I wish they did a, a little more with that, but that's okay. Let's go to the fairy village. And I'm going to show you how you can um, <clears throat> start making seeds and things. And those seeds, which are over here on the bottom here. Like these seeds here, sage seeds, fire seeds, vigor seeds. Basically what they do is they uh, boost your stats. Or resistances to things, kind of like those vaccinations in the other games. I mean, in Breath of Fire 3. Um, anyways, <clears throat> these things will resist your resistances or whatever until you rest up, which is very cool. And you can actually make items to raise your stats with uh, with the various things. So let's talk with the fairy. Go to the fairy village, which we haven't gone to in a long, long time. And again, I will probably, <clears throat> on the video description, I'll probably put on how to make 
probably just the stat boosting items. Not really, um, not really, I don't think I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to show how to make all the other stuff. But I will show how to do stat boosting items. I'll put that in the video description at least. So we got all these fairies. And these fairies love Ryan. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to the rider. I like you guys a lot. I love you guys. You guys are the best. And we got another house over here. But yeah, um... So one thing you can do when you're... When you're done building houses and collecting all these fairies, what you could do... <coughs> is turn all of the I think yeah level three is the max for the uh for the barracks with fairies and I think we're done <coughs> excuse me we're done here you know let's just turn them into uh I showed you the games right and I, I can I can show you these bonds I guess and, um, over here we're just gonna do a troops. But, if you wanna use your fairies for, like, max troop stuff, um, the best thing to do is make all of these troops, let them get to level 3, and then you can, you can make some really awesome, uh, you can make some really, really awesome, uh, what the hell is it, uh, attacks and whatnot. an arms dealer I'm gonna turn into troops and since we don't need these guys to do anything with the land anymore let's put them all in the troops because the more fairies you have in your troops the better it will be and in one way you can get without hunting is if you're doing the hunting for them anyways let's go look at the the orm trade in I don't even know what house that was in maybe this one Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can buy insurance, and when you're in defeat in battle, 8% of the Zenny you get in combat is automatically deducted. Oh, what the hell. Uh, sure, why not. Yeah, sure, let's get a premium. So you can do all kinds of various things with that. I'm not exactly sure how it works. The fairy village in this one is much more sophisticated with insurance premiums and all that. So let's come over here and now we can grow seeds with fertilizer. Even if you add fertilizer, there are no fairies to tend it. What are you talking Oh, because they're all in the house. Is that it? I can get rid of this. Yeah, let's get select. Oh no, maybe. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Hmm. No, she doesn't have any. I think I need green. Green. High green. these high green berries. What the hell? Jeez. Hmm. 
Screw it, I, I don't care. Let's just put... So in order to start this thing, you gotta put one fairy over there for the green... For garden. For gardening. And now what you wanna do is pick what food you wanna do fertilizer. Hold, hold on a second. Okay, okay. So what you need to do in order to uh, plant and start doing stuff is you'll have three. You have three different statistics or something. I'm not exactly sure how this works either. Jeez, I've never done it. You can plant. Each type of fertilizer you use will result in different type of seed. The amount of the fertilizer will affect which specific, which specific seed from within the type you will see there's three types elemental seeds statistic seeds and parameter seeds <clears throat> and we want to make per, uh, statistic seeds which basically raise your stats and the, the, the what you want to use for that is you got to use fish right fish is the perfect fertilizer for this so what you want to do is you need for statistics you need bull cat flatfish Flying fish or sturgeon. So let's see if I have any of those. The only one I might have is a flying fish. So let's use one. And basically what that will do, the more the get excuse me, getting a mix is a trick here. You have to add bird drops, scorched rice, or rotten meat after you add the base fish ingredient. For every one extra items you add, there's a 25% Ch chance of becoming an, a mix. No matter how many fertilizer points you have, you only get one mix at one time. Okay, so let's add... Let's see if we have any bird droppings. Or even meat, right? Meat will work, right? Scorched rice or rotten meat. Oh, here we go, scorched rice. Alright, once you know, <coughs> excuse me, once you know what type of seed you'll get, you can figure out what they'll take to get the exact seed you want. First total of the fertilizer points you use, divide the total number of seed type. Jeez. Say you were to grow a hard seed, first you would determine what type of fertilizer you use, in this case let's use a bull cat. Try to determine how many bull cats you need, you must calculate the remainder of one, the value of the hard seed, divided by, what the hell? It's like you gotta do math in order to figure this stuff out. Three bull cats go in and four hard seeds come out. While it takes a long time, many seeds to accumulate these will pay off. Oh no, I don't want to use any more fertilizer. So basically, you just gotta kinda let it grow and do its thing. And you can actually max out your stats by uh, farming literally for seeds and whatnot. So actually, I'll probably come back and look after we're done doing a few more things in uh, this Breath of Fire bonus stuff. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.